the acts of repentance envisioned for the United Methodist Church is not merely something to appease Indian Methodists. It's not something merely to give momentary relief to Indian people generally. But it really is theologically about the health of white Methodists. Repentance, if they take the progressive sense of the verb, be repenting, continue repenting seriously, is a way to live that will make all Methodists healthier, more deeply in tune with the gospel of Jesus Christ, uh, and, and, and more deeply in reciprocal relationship with Indian people and with the land that they now live on. Most people are going to say, that happened in the past, why should I apologize for it or repent for it now? The bottom line is that Indian people are still living in immense poverty uh, on reservations and in cities with a 50% unemployment rate, you know, high, high disease rates, high suicide rates, high alcoholism rate, uh, all coming out of the kind of post-traumatic stress. Uh, you know, I say that you know, our communities are communities of post-traumatic stress disorder. Telling white people that, who are in, you know, enjoying owning a home on Indian land and, and enjoying the economy that has been developed uh, on the backs of that devastation, the backs of that you know, horrible violence perpetrated against Indians, can't afford to pay much attention to it because it would threaten their economic well-being. It's got to start somewhere. And it may as well start with Methodists. And I have to believe, I have to be optimistic, I have to say, sure, it will make a difference. It's not going to make an automatic difference. It's not going to change the world overnight. But it will begin a process of ongoing change and ongoing shift in the way people see themselves and understand their relationship both to Indian people and the land they live on. So that my hope is that generation, the next generation or the generation after that will see the world and live on this earth in North America in a very different way than uh, people do today.